because these the brothers that's outside, that's on the pavement, where you can reach out and touch them. These are not internet fucking Hebrew Israelites, okay? Like a lot of these clowns. They are internet Hebrew Israelites, that's it. They are not in the highways and the byways, as the Most High tells you to be in the goddamn highways and the byways and raise your damn voice like a trumpet to reach the masses of our people. And y'all niggas are not doing that. You are internet fake ass Hebrew Israelites. And that's why I always make my distinction. I always say not all. Hey, we nations of kings and priests, aka no cap street wars, and this is our YouTube channel. So we've been censored and monitored a lot by YouTube. We've been getting points and strikes on YouTube. So we want to tell our people uh, we back up, we back on, we back on, right? So we got limited strikes on YouTube because when we bring out the truth of the Bible, so-called YouTube monitor our content and then they give us strikes and points and try to say the content we bringing out is not true. But what we bring out, we bring out, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. So we trying to tell our people, hey, you gotta come back to the Lord and repent because it's gonna be a day when y'all gonna be searching for us or looking for a, a, a class or something and we're not gonna be there. But that's all prophesied. Give me Amos chapter eight, verse 11. And give me Matthew uh, chapter 24 where it says in this gospel, I think it's verse seven. In this show. Right, because we out here to tell our people, man, hey, we've been censored and monitored by YouTube, which all all Israelites channel have been because they label us as a hate group. And we're not a hate group because we love our people. We come out here and spread love to the so-called black and Hispanics and the Native American Indian. But people get mad when we try to unite our people. What's wrong with uniting our people? We love our women, we love our children, we love our culture. That because we don't want to miss mingle with the other nations in birthdays, holidays, Christmas, 4th of July, New Year, they label us as like outcasts because we don't want to mingle and, and, and miss mingle with what, what our, our old life used to be. We trying to be new creatures in the Lord, right? Because we can't find these things in the Bible, right? So go ahead, uh, like I wanted to bring out, we got a backup channel. This channel, No Cap Street War, gets shut down. We have a backup channel called No Cap Fully Loaded. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel, No Cap Fully Loaded. So if y'all see this channel has been deleted or taken down, go to the No Cap Fully Loaded channel. All right, but that's our backup channel. Then we got uh, Nations of Kings and Priests channel too so go ahead and subscribe to those channels so we can continue bringing the word out so go ahead read what you got first this is the book of matthew chapter 24 and verse 14 uh -huh. and this gospel of the kingdom so in this gospel of the kingdom go ahead shall be preached in all the world so when this gospel that we're preaching because we know christianity is preached to all the world catholic is preached to all the world then the Muslim is preached to all the world. But when this gospel that we're bringing out be preached to all the world, go ahead. For a witness unto all nations. For this is a witness to all nations. Because this gospel is being spread through all the nations, right? Go ahead. And then shall the end come. What? And then shall the end come. When this gospel is preached, then the end shall come. So if Christianity is being preached all around the world, why the end hasn't came? Because everybody all around the world know about Christianity. So when this gospel is preached throughout the four corners of the earth to the so-called black and expanding the Native American Indians, then the end shall come. Right? So read that in Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Jump to verse 35. Behold, yeah. the day is come, saith the Lord God. So the Bible says the day is coming. This day will come. Right, go ahead. That I will send a famine in the land. So it's going to be a day when the Most High God, he's going to send a famine in the, in the land. What's a famine? Right, go ahead. Not a famine of bread. Not a famine of food. Nor of thirst. Not of water. Right, go ahead. But 
of the hearing of the word of the Lord. But the what? The hearing of the word of the Lord. It's going to be a day when y'all ain't going to be able to hear the word of the Lord. It's going to be a day y'all going the Bible ain't going to be around. It's going to be a day when you're not going to see the brothers on the corner preaching the gospel. So this is the time that you need to be coming in, writing down scriptures, learning these scriptures, put them in your mind. Right? Give me that in Hebrew. I mean, give me Jeremiah 31, 31 real quick. It's a reason why we need to be studying more and more today. Because it's going to be a day that you're not going to have these scriptures. The scriptures, I'm going to show you in the Bible what these scriptures are going to be. Read that Jeremiah 31. This is the book of <laughs> Jeremiah, chapter oh, 31 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, uh -huh. that I will make a new covenant uh -huh. with the house of Israel uh -huh. and with the house of Judah. Uh -huh. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers Read. in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Read. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. With the house of who? With the house of Israel. Oh, you so-called Israelites, y'all need to be learning. Because it's going to be a day that you're not going to have these scriptures. Read. After those days, uh -huh. saith the Lord, uh -huh. I will put my law in their inward parts. You're going to do what? Put, their, put my law in their inward parts. This Bible got to be in here, in your brain. Because it's going to be a day that we ain't going to be able to <coughs> walk around with a Bible. If you think about it in the ancient town, where they walking around with these giant strolls, well, every time Christ quoted the scripture, did he say, Oh, let me go to Isaiah in my Bible. Or did he put it, pick up a notepad? No. He had the laws in his inward part. That means in his mind. Read on. And write it in their hearts. Write it where? In their hearts. So this Bible got to be written in your mind. You got to know this thing. You got to be ready to learn. Right? Because if you don't learn, it's going to be a day come when you're not going to hear this word. Because we've been censored all throughout the world. We're trying to be shut down. So this gospel will not be preached throughout the whole world because we know the so-called Edomites, they trying to stop this word so they can keep the prophecies of their being in rulership, right? So read that again in Amos. Give me Judas chapter 5 verse 20. I'm going to show you why it's important to keep this word uh, preaching. Go ahead. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Uh -huh. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, right, that I will send a famine in the land, uh -huh. not of not a not a famine of bread, uh -huh. nor thirst for water, right? But the hearing of the word of the Lord. But the hearing of the word of the Lord. Go ahead. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Right. Then our people gonna be trying to look for us all over the world. They're gonna be like, what else Hebrew Israelites? I, I wanted to. Uh, I'm ready to repent. I'm ready to come back to the Lord. They're gonna be looking for us. Go ahead. And from the north, even to the east. They're gonna be looking all around the world, looking for us, right? It's gonna be a day that we ain't gonna be on these corners. Go ahead. They shall run to and fro. Y'all gonna be looking for us, looking everywhere. Go ahead. To seek the word of the Lord. Y'all gonna be trying to seek the word of the Lord. It's gonna be too late to try to seek the word of the Lord then, because the word is gonna be gone. But you got to be able to come out and repent and put these laws in your inward parts. Go ahead, brother. And shall not find it. They shall what? Not find it. They shall what? Not, not find, find it. it. They're not going to be able to find this, this, this truth or this Bible or what we're bringing out. You're not going to be able to find it. So like I said, we got another channel, backup channel, no cap fully loaded. Start subscribing to that channel because we're going to be putting backup videos on that channel. Right? Because this channel here is acceptable of being suspended any day man they can search they can go through our whole content and find one word and suspend the whole channel we don't like our second or third channel right now and they keep suspending the channels because we keep bringing out the words of the lord so go to verse 25 and give me first peter's chapter one verse verse 25 on what 35 24 no nah, read judas judas right. then go to matthew this is the book of judas chapter 5 and verse 20. uh-huh now therefore, my Lord and Governor, uh -huh. if there be any error in this people. So this is what we're talking about. This is why they censor, censoring us. That's why we can't bring out of the truth of the Bible. When we bring out certain events that come out, right, we 
you can't really say too much. You know, abortions, right? Anything that come up, a gay pride week, a June, uh, Juneteenth day, anything we bring up, we try to tell our people that's not according to the Bible, they censor us and flag us, right? 9-11, a pandemic, so anything. So y'all know how we get down in Israel. We use slang and code words. So we're going to have to go to those slang and code words for y'all to understand the lingo that we bring it on. They did it all throughout the scriptures. Christ spoke in parables. So we're going to be speaking in parables just to keep this keep this afloat. So go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And they sin against their God. So that's what they, that's what they want us to do. They want to keep our people in sin. That's why they keep censoring us. So we're going to tell you when you're going off or when you're in error. That's we're right. We're going to tell you when to repent and come back to the Lord. But these other nations, they want you to stay in your sin. Stay in the 4th of July. Stay into all of these different religions. They want you to stay in sin. Right? Go ahead. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. If we stay in sin, this will be our what? Shall be their ruin. This is what the other nations say about the so-called black and Hispanic. <laughs> if we can keep these people in their sin, we can stay in our power, in our rulership, because this would be their ruin. Go ahead. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. They're going to do what? We shall overcome them. So long as you so-called black and Hispanic stay in sin, the so-called other nations are going to overcome them. They're going to stay in their kingdom. They're going to stay in their power. They're going to stay in their rulership. So we must come together as Israelites. No more calling yourself black, Hispanics, or Native American Indians. Right? So read on. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. If there be no sin in our people. Because we got to come back as a nation. We can't come back as an individual life. We got to come back as a whole nation, right? Go ahead. Let my Lord now pass by. Let my Lord do what? Pass by. Pass by us and redeem us. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And I'm going to show you once we come back as a nation what's going what's gonna to happen to our people, right? Read that in 1 Peter real quick first. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 25. Uh-huh. But the word of the Lord. But the what? But the word, word of, of the, the Lord. Lord. But the word of the Lord. Go ahead. Endure forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. forever. YouTube can shut us down. Forever. Facebook can censor us. Forever. forever. The word of the Lord going to stand forever. This word going to stand forever. No matter what they do, they can shut our content down. They can say, hey, you said this word. You said that word. You made false statements. You made a false claim. Hey, we read in the Bible. That's right. Right? This word of the Lord is going to stand forever, no matter what YouTube say. Right? No matter what Patreon do. Right? No matter what. Right? Because it was a day we didn't have YouTube. It was a day we didn't have Facebook. But the Lord blessed us with this so we can reach the four corners of the earth. Right? Go ahead. Read on. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. Right, this is the word of the gospel that is preached to you. To you. Go ahead. Let's say that. Let's say that. Okay, read that real quick. 30 Deuteronomy. 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 This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 1. Right, go ahead. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. when all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. So that's why I say we have to come back as a nation. We can't come back as an individual life. Right? You can't be sitting on the couch as an individual person. You got to come back to your nation. Go ahead. Which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. Read. Whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Go ahead. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. What the so-called black man got to do? Return unto the Lord thy God. What the so-called Puerto Rican man got to do? Return unto the Lord thy God. What the Dominican man got to do? Return unto the Lord thy God. What the Mexican got to do? Return unto the Lord thy God. You have to return to the Lord thy God as a nation, not as an individual, right? Go ahead. And shall obey his voice uh -huh. according to all that I command thee this day. Right, because this is important why we have to come back to it as a nation. Go ahead. Thou and thy children. Who? Thou and thy children. Us and our children have to come back to the Lord thy God as a nation. Not as an individual. 
Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to separate us. They're trying to slow our content down, right? Go ahead. With all thine heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Yep. That then. That what? Then. That what? Then. That what? Then. That what? Then. That's the stipulation. Then, when we come back as the nation of Israel, go ahead. The Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. He will do what? Turn thy captivity. captivity. He's going to turn our captivity once we come back as a nation, not as an individual, not as a few brothers. That's right. Not as a camp here, not as a camp there. We have to come back as a whole nation of Israel. Right? Go ahead. And have compassion upon thee. Uh-huh. And will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. Uh-huh. If any of thine be driven out, to the utmost parts of the earth, right. of heaven. From thence will the Lord God gather thee, mm -hmm. and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. Right, then we're gonna come back into the land, right? After Christ make his second return. After we repent, come back as a nation, as Israel, not as a Baptist, not as a Catholic, not as a Jehovah Witness, right, go ahead. And thou shalt possess it. We're going to possess the new land of Jerusalem. Go ahead. And he will do thee good. He will do what? Do thee good. Go ahead. And multiply thee above thy fathers. He's going to multiply us above our fathers. Right? Above what uh, King David had. Above what King Solomon had. We're going to have the riches. We're going to have the wealth. Right? But we have to come back as a nation. That's right. You, you brothers have to get off that couch and come back and keep the Lord's commandments, man. Y'all can't be out there being an individual like scoffing on brother's channel. Right, so read that Matthew 24 and 35 real quick. And give me Isaiah 40 and 8. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 35. Uh -huh. Bring it up. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Right, heaven and earth shall pass away. That means this kingdom going to die one day. Right, go ahead. But my words. But my what? But my words. But my what? But my, my words. words. My words, you two. Go ahead. Shall not pass away. This Bible of the words of the Lord shall not pass away. With or without you two. With or without you two. This word is not going to stop. Right, go ahead. But of that day uh -huh. and hour. Knoweth no man. All right, that's it on that. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 40. Give me Isaiah 55, verse 11. Verse 8. Uh -huh. The grass withereth. Uh -huh. The flower fadeth. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth away. Go ahead. But the word of our God. But the what? The word, word of, of our, our God. God. But the what? The, the word, word of, of our God. God. But the word of our God. Right? Go ahead. Shall stand forever. Shall do what? Stand, stand forever. forever. No, YouTube going to shut us off. Stand, stand forever. forever. This word going to stand forever. With or without YouTube, Patreon, Facebook Live, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, all these social media outlets. They trying to censor what the words of the Lord is bringing out. But when the so-called white man bring out his science, they promote net heavenly. Real heavy. But when we bring out the words of the Lord and try to and, and try to bring our people back to repentance, one strike here. One strike there. This channel shut down. That channel shut down. Right? They don't want to see the so-called black man and the black woman succeed in life. Right? What I got you holding? You said uh Isaiah 55 11? Yeah, yeah. We Matthew 4 and 4. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 55, verse 11. Uh-huh. So shall my word be. So shall my word be. Go ahead. That goeth forth out of my mouth. Right. This word is going forth out of our mouth, out of the Bible, across the whole world. Right. Go ahead. It shall not return unto me, boy. It shall what? Shall not return unto me, boy. So you can censor us all you want to. This word will not stop. This word will not go out, boy. That's ahead. right. But it shall accomplish that which I please. It's going to do what? Accomplish that which I please. This is going to accomplish what the Most High want His word to do. It's going to accomplish what He wanted to do. If we get shut down, hey, we get shut down. We just make another channel. 
But we need our supporters to keep subscribing, keep liking the video, keep the algorithm going up. We're not out here with no money or no pot, or we ain't flashing nothing on the bottom talking about donations. We ain't worried about your money. All we ask is y'all to keep subscribing to the channel. Keep liking the video to keep the algorithm going up so our people can wake up. What's so hard for hitting a damn like button? When you hit that like button, you might be waking up somebody. Because what we're doing is keeping the algorithm going around circulating in YouTube. But when we let this thing die, because YouTube lazy to hit the uh, uh, subscribe button or the so-called like button. We gotta support one another. We so-called black and Hispanics, we don't support each other in nothing. We don't support our businesses. We don't even support each other on, on our channel. Now you go to these Christian channels, man, they got 55, 85,000, 100,000 damn near subscribers. We only got like 4,000, 3,000, 17,000. I think the biggest uh, YouTube uh, uh, Israelites I seen was maybe about like uh, uh, 65,000. That's IUIC. Right? We should be in the millions, man. What's wrong with our people, man? We got to subscribe to at least our own channel. But y'all subscribing to all of this foolishness and foulness on YouTube. Bring it out, all. They, they, they uh, 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 go to, uh, uh, what is it called? Black World Star. They probably got millions and millions of views. This is a guy out here. He make YouTube videos about, uh, what the video game? Uh, with the guy be running around shooting people and shit. I think it's, yeah. Not, uh, not, not Call of Duty, the other. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. I see this guy, he make videos about Grand Theft Auto. This dude get millions of subscribers. Running around, uh, 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 putting his voice on top of the game. And people like it. Other than that, man. But when we come out with the Bible, nobody want to subscribe to the channel, man. We trying to save your life. Bring it out. That's right. We trying to save your life. But y'all don't want to help. Y'all don't even support your own people, man. Y'all too busy bashing on oh, this brother bugging out oh, this brother. Come on, man. Let's support one another. And this walk, right? What I got you holding, bro? Oh, man, Read that. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, right? But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Right. We got to live every word that proceedeth out of the words, out of the mouth of God. We got to live this Bible in order for us to be delivered, in order for us to, to make it up out of here, right? Right. So, uh, anybody want to bring something out before we shut this one down and go to the next one? Anybody got a precept about the famine of the world or the or the lack of bringing out this truth? But the word of the Lord gonna stand forever. No matter if I get gunned down or be in prison or anything happen to me, Lord's will that don't happen, or I get bugged out, this word gonna keep going. With or without me. Right? It's like they say in the game, you either gonna roll with it or you're gonna get rolled the hell over. That's right. You either gonna roll with this truth or you're gonna get rolled over in this way today. So the nations of King the priest with that, we're gonna say shalom. Shalom. Wow.